deeper deep deep was one of those records where it's like it's just a vibe it's like that's one of those really feel good r&b records that just makes you go hmm and then like me hitting like the crazy falsettos and everything like that i feel like it was really like a homage to some of the artists who have come before me it's just a vibe the way that the record was produced and the way that it feels is like it almost feels like a sense of urgency a sense of loss when you when you really listen to it it's kind of like am i overthinking what's going on is it something more to it or am i just processing this in the wrong way it's one of those things where once again you're kind of grappling with what reality truly is and what you perceive reality to be for me, I, I feel like the message is rooted in the person and how they're receiving it sonically because I, there's really no goal to lead people in a particular direction or make people feel um, a certain emotion. I feel like that's up for the interpretation of the listener. Somebody may listen to this record and be like, man, you know, it, it just made me think about like my 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 ex-girlfriend or my or my current wife or whatever. Or somebody might listen to the record and, you know, it may make them just feel so sad that they just are overwhelmed with emotion. But I feel like at the end of the day, as long as you're feeling something and it's making you think deeper or feel something deeper and kind of taking you out of your current reality, I feel like that is like really, really important when it comes to music. What up, what up? This is your boy, Matt B. I hope that you enjoyed this breakdown of my album, Eden. This is my homecoming here in the U.S. And what better way to celebrate it than with this album, Eden. So check it out. Let me know what you think. And the rest is up to you. <laughs>